starting lineup here for the first time this year. And Staley Hurd, the true freshman. She does not play like someone coming out of high school. So zone in on her today. She's taking the tip against Aronette Von Ley, and we are underway here at the CU Event Center. Jalen Sherrod to Frida Foreman inside, and right away they're going to attack that mismatch. Ball's out of bounds, and it's going to go the way of the Cowgirls. Quincy Noble takes it to the hoop, loses the ball, stripped away, and Sadler's going to come up with it, pushing it up to Jalen Sherrod. Watch the tempo today. Foreman with her first three attempt. That's off the mark, and the Buffs get an offensive board. Inside. Von Ley lays it in and see you up two to nothing. To your point exactly. Quincy Noble got her pass tipped away. Sadler all over the defense today, making a huge difference so far. Good recovery by Garzone to get out on Frida Foreman. Pass to the corner wide open is Miller and there she goes, knocking it down. We knew Miller time was going to hit at some point. She's just too good a player. 5-0 buffs, taking control early. Shot from three, and matching on the other end is Asi. All the two on the line. Great and there's defense. a steal. Yeah, good defense by the freshman. Staley Hurd goes the other way, and she's going to take it all the way to the hoop. Poise and confidence. 5-4, buffs lead by one inside Dequay, and there's a foul. Inbounds play coming for the Buffs. They look inside, a wide open Frida. She'll dribble in. And the jumper good. And had to go back to the portal to fill her roster this year. Well, she's an impressive young coach. Great steal by Sherrod. And she has nothing but a wide open lane for her first point of the day. And how often have we seen a mistake and then she just comes roaring back and makes up for it. And splitting the defense on the Cowgirls end is Kennedy Fontleroy. Freshman of the year last year in the Big East Conference before transferring. Uh, finding her way as a transfer. Maddie Nolan also a transfer for the Buffs from Michigan. And now Oklahoma State feeling that pressure. What this king, team can do defensively. Shot clock down to four. Smith, J.R. Payne, her eighth season at the helm here in Boulder. And really, this is her program. Like, this this is something that she has seen, that she has felt. And when they beat LSU in that locker room, you heard at the top of the show, she said, this is about us, not about them. That's because we are fearless, we are tenacious. And uh, right now, here back on the court, it's the defense of the Cowgirls giving them some fits out of the media timeout. And up ahead, off the glass, Aronette fighting for it, and she's going to lose it to the Cowgirls. So Cowgirls will get set back up. I see four points for Oklahoma State. Defensively, she's doing a great job. Splitting the D there and a late whistle, so Sadler is going to get the call. A little bit of a hip check by Sadler. And the first free throw, good for Kennedy Fontleroy. Just kind of waiting for her breakout party very early in the season. Foreman on the right wing, inside, and a foul called. So there's that size coming to the advantage of the buff. What a year Von Ley had a year ago. Co-Pac-12, most improved player. Undeniable her impact on this program. Inside, and another steal. Sherrod to Miller, one dribble off the glass, and good. 15 points for the Inside, turn and shoot for Asi, and that bounces around the rim. Shocker, Sherrod has the ball in her hands, coming down with it. She stops, pops, and gets the roll. That's where we've really seen the progress in her game, is just that control. Take the 10-foot jump shot. You don't have to force the action to the rim. Schrod with four points, three assists, and two rebounds already. Noble tough shot. with her own tough shot on that end. So her first points in 17-13. Cowgirls hanging around. Aaron Conley take it over. 
the key to that was the pass. Frida Foreman with the left hand saw the angle and the ball arrived when it needed to be there. Open three look and I see. Pick up where she left off yeah. and shoot around. Eight points for her. Foul on the end of the bus. They'll help up Sherrod. What the Colorado schools can rely on with altitude is the long man's game, right? You got to really play all four quarters, and sometimes that energy out of the gate can hurt you later. But for JC Hoyt, that's the way she wants her team to play fast and physical. Daughter of a one of the legendary high school coaches in the state of Kansas. Six points for Jalen Sherrod. She leads the buffs 21-16. Langerman to Garzon and we're going to call it the other way on an illegal screen. Hard to keep up these days. It really is, especially the transfer portal, the schools. There's not even enough room for some of these ladies to write all the schools they've attended. Not sure how to open look, but kept the ball. Now she'll dish it off from the corner. Connecting again. How about it? No one was patiently waiting in the corner. Not even Nolan has six. Two quick threes for the Michigan transfer. Average 9.1 points per game. What an addition she is. Whether she starts or comes off the bench. 15 seconds to go in the quarter. Montleroy with the ball and just Barely a separation between shot clock, game clock. She'll have to shoot shot clock violation. And probably changing tomorrow when the new polls come out. Lots of changes Lots happen. Of change. <laughs> college basketball. What a huge moment. We saw Candace Parker in that locker room. Just to breathe life into the Buffs who already know and have confidence in who they are. But why did Shaq want to talk to Von Ley in particular? Because low post basketball is kind of going by the wayside. We don't see it so much. It's so wide open with taking a lot of threes. But Von Ley, 11 of 15, shooting 73% from the floor in that ball game, it was like old school. And it's going to be a very deep Pac-12 this year once conference play starts, and we're already seeing those effects in non-conference play. All right, NC State beats, we would have thought, the new number one, UConn. Now one and two, both LSU and UConn have lost. Maybe a four, a stretch four, but because they just don't have the numbers because of injury to play, and she's given it her best, but that's a tough matchup. Knock down, free throw. <laughs> Shrod kind of showed the ball on that layup, and nice job by Oklahoma State taking advantage. And Pat to match it if you can, if you've got it in you. And so Quincy Nobles tasked with guarding the point guard today. Nolan inside. They're going to feed Von Ley and do it all day. You know, this is a small lineup on the floor. It's good to see Bananas here. Got to love it. Good college basketball. Trying to bring Von Ley out to open up those driving lanes. Our zone got stripped by none other than Jalen Sherrod, and she got stuck once again under the hoop. Great hustle by Hurd. The freshman just put her track shoes on and beat Sherrod to the spot. Comes out for this high screen and brings Von Ley out a little bit. You see it's space missing off the rim, and you just see that yep, face of exactly. Sherrod. Beast mode is exactly what she dips into. Three rebounds for her, already stuffing the stat sheet, added to four assists, and now Von Ley getting in on some more points. See, into two buffs. And that's up and in. Quay Miller also back in the game. Call. Here's 6.44 to go in the second quarter. 30 to 20 Buffs lead. Well, if you force Frida Foreman to put the ball on the floor going laterally, you've accomplished something. She hasn't shot the ball. It's amazing. Point of emphasis, I'm sure, for J.C. Hoyt. There's her freshman taking a three. Weta with six on the shot clock. That's swatted away. And Prater, some huge defense. The freshman out to our zone and knocking it down. Women's basketball team ranked 20th in the country, sure to move up tomorrow. 
they can pull out a win today, but still a lot of work to go. Almost five minutes here in the second quarter left. Just a four-point lead at 30 to 26. Biggest difference is the shooting percentage here, Mary, and the second quarter's really dipped down to just 14%, but Sherrod somehow still hanging in there, pushing it up. Garzon will pop and get it. Sadler to Von Lay, she hands it back in the corner. Jalen Sherrod faked it, nice moves. Trying to kiss it off the glass a little too hard for double zero. The crowd is ready for that one. She's such great basketball IQ, such a great vision of the court. She couldn't finish, and the freshman finishing on the other end. They're going to call it travel on Sherrod. So J.C. Hoyt, her second season there at Oklahoma State, and again, she was the first coach in basketball history to make the NCAA tournament in just her first year. She said it was hard to get rid of that veteran group, some of them moving on, but had to go right back to the portal, build a program again, and they had that trip to Europe in the offseason that really, really helped galvanize this team early on. Seeing the fruits of their labor with a 2-0 start, and they're trying to upset the buffs here today. The freshman definitely being heard. How about Staley Hurd, 11? Water's going to push it the other way, but the whistle will stop the play as Prater. Luetta is trying to turn the fortunes of the buff. She gets fouled. Three players with two personal fouls for Oklahoma State. And that's the kind of number that can start kind of creeping up on you later, late in the third into the fourth. Can the Luetta over to Hurd. She'll dribble to her left, spin, kicks it back out. The ball movement from Oklahoma State. It ends up back with Hurd and off the dribble. She's now at 13. What a to her left. She's going to go all the way in and draw the foul. Coach Payne is really going to want to address its turnovers. Already 11 turnovers in the first half for the Buffs. A year ago, they averaged just 15. Both teams taking advantage, 12 points each, so Cancels each other out. No real advantage there. What a making the second. Lost trail by one. 52 seconds to go here in the quarter. Arizona's been quiet. Minus a minute of scoring five points. And on that, she'll dish it off to her teammate to see. 39 points given it up defensively by Colorado is a big number for them. Seeing double figures with 11. They keep teams in the 60s. Just two seconds. Separate shot clock, game clock. Seven on the shot clock. Weta trying to feed inside, and that's going to be kicked out of bounds. What a Devon Lay. She'll pass it off. Foreman for three. Can't get it to go. She falls down. No call. Tough first half for three to Foreman. 0 oh for 5 from distance. And one half of play done here at the CU Event Center. It's the hometown team. The players in foul trouble for Oklahoma State picked up two fouls. Four players did in the first half of play. So something to watch here as the third quarter begins. Langerman. Feeds it in on the Oklahoma State's ball to begin. And they'll hand it off to Asi, working the perimeter and right back to Hurd, who was so hot there in the second quarter. She leads all Cowgirls with 13 points, all scores in the game. Again, good job in transition D by Oklahoma State, not allowing an easy bucket by CU. Sherrod off the screen all the way and. Von Ley will make it count. You get that rotation when you get that penetration off that miss. Von Ley, no one boxing her out, just taking care of business. 13 points for Aaronette. Good grief. Second quarter, all the turnovers. You look at the whole half, Frida Foreman and Quay Miller, one for 10 from three. Probably a reminder to focus on the day too, right? We heard assistant coach Towns today during shoot around. It's all about now, and 
that's a perfect look inside to Von Ley. 15 for the junior. She's so efficient, just the catch and the finish. Arizona transfer played with Ana Gradasi, who answers on the other end. She's at 13. And I'm a trading buckets. First points of the day for Tamia Sadler. And mismatches work both ways. So with Hurd being drawn out, so comes Von Ley, and it opens up that inside. Look how open it is inside, size-wise. All tied up at 41. Quincy Noble changes that with a three. This is what happens when you give a team confidence. You know, Oklahoma State goes to the locker room and says, we can beat this team that beat LSU. Sadler feeds a cutting Von Ley. She can't control the ball, and it ends up with Staley Hurd. Can she answer? She does. How about Lior Garzon, who was so quiet in the first quarter? 90 points. They have not had three consecutive 90-point games since the early 80s. And Smith for nothing but net on the three. Just had a quick double team. Shot clock at five, a fourth shot, and really reaping benefits. Just sixth foul of the game for the Buffs. Brings Colorado to the national stage. Pass it in to Foreman. She'll get it inside. One dribble and out to the corner, working it around. Kendall Weta will take the shot. And a miss from three. Oklahoma State's going to push it. And Font Leroy off to a C. That's good. Getting a handout on it. Prater can't get it away from Miller. Can what a connect in and out and rebound from Miller. Maybe that'll get her going and up and in it does. I've been waiting for some domination on the O boards by Colorado with all the height advantage, but it hasn't really happened. Quay Miller flexing her muscles there a little bit. Chip shot no go and Kendall Weta comes up with it. Can the Buffs go on a run? That's the question I'm sure their coach is asking who's going to step up. They've gotten their points and double figures from Von Ley on the inside. She has 15. Sherrod had eight early, but no one's really kind of stepped up and taken control. They can spread the ball offensively. We know that. And Weta underneath. Nice cut, and she gets the bounce in. And the Weta just does so many little things, moves so well without the basketball. She has given them a big lift coming on the floor. Cut the deficit to 351-48. 2.35 to go here in the third quarter. And a long three from Garzon. She has found her shot today in Boulder. She is one of the great shooters in the country, and you cannot give her that kind of time. Four for eight from the field and shooting 50% from three-point range. Von Ley will hand it off to a cutting Weta. One dribble off the glass and back-to-back -back buckets for Weta. Assist Von Ley. This crowd trying to get their team going a little bit. Under two to go. Quay got a hand on it and they'll call Fallon Kendall Weta. Three to Foreman back in. Foreman has got to find a way to get going. She has been absolutely ice cold today. 0 for 7. When it comes to shooting three-pointers, and Staley Hurd has been the opposite. Freshman hot once again. 15 points for her. She's been averaging 16.5 through their first two contests. Quite outside to Sherrod. She'll drive the basket, and she gets fouled. Talking to J.C. Hoyt, she knew that the first two games weren't really about her team. And Sherrod making her free throws count. She's in double figures. Ton even, and Foreman knew it right away. They're going to call the check foul on, foul on her as CU tried to put the defensive pressure on her. C makes her first from Estonia. One for two from the line for us. See, 57 52 Cowgirls. 25 to go here in the quarter, and the Buffs will maintain the basketball. 
Sherrod Miller, she faces the basket, a couple dribbles towards the hole and collects it for the points. Beautiful job with off the ball movement. Backdoor cuts, really got the defense so they had to focus on Asi found a lane, reverse layup, and good. Found a good one there. She didn't start one game in the 21-22 season. 22-23 season, yeah. 7-12, 4-6. Nice cut from Foreman. She'll get going that way underneath the basket. She has four. One second, and at the buzzer, Clay Miller going. Exactly right. Unleash the beast, right? That's exactly right. And doing it with O'Boards, her teammates, you know, just on that seal. Beautiful, just visual by Sherrod to get her the basketball. See what the Cowgirls have in store out of the media timeout. 8.30 to go in the fourth quarter. I see off her foot and out of bounds. So the defense of Colorado, something to cheer about, and they are definitely engaged. And travel. Foreman's going to travel there. So it'll go the other way. What extends full court? A moth foul on Sarah Rose Smith. So it's her second plus the turnover. Other end, and look at that. Missing it from deep, and feels rare. They've made 12 threes on the day. Buffs trying to find an answer from four. Beautiful job by Sarah Rose Smith. Just being patient, let the ball, the, the, the play kind of evolve. This feel good for Foreman to find the bottom of the net. All tied up at 62. See, got the ball stripped away. Quay up to what as she can run, and she'll go all the way. Oklahoma State with 6.14 left in this fourth quarter. And Oklahoma State spreads out. Inside wide open, and Hurd will just put it up. Well, first quarter, then it was Cowgirls through halftime, and the third quarter, and now... Anyone's game. Sherrod, one bounce and a dish to Von Lay. She's trying to get out of her hands and a foul call. Make her earn it. And Von Lay and come out of there. So much talent. It goes to Tucson and Von Lay making her second. Arizona won today over LMU. Pac 12 looking good so far. A perfect 24 and 0 on the season is the conference that's going to be so deep and tough. Through to Foreman, tough, pulling it away. So what a baseline and a whistle. The junior out of Castle Rock, Colorado. Valor Christian product. Take a lot of pride in the results, and she has helped JR. The other thing, this flurry of fouls on Oklahoma State. It's now three team fouls for Oklahoma State, so they've kind of caught up with Colorado. It's so important as you head down the stretch. 66-64, and a make on the other end, ties it up. Prater at the high post. Prater with five. Sarah Rose Smith feeds into Von Ley. Nice make. 18 points for Aaronette Von Ley. Aaronette six for seven from the field. I see working around the defense and right Guess into him, Sherrod. Chasing it down, coming up with it, and pushing it. Right back to Sherrod, and inside Devon Lay, out to Frida Foreman, and there's that three she's been looking for. It came in the fourth quarter with under five minutes to play, but this crowd's going to give her some love and hold up their three signs for Frida. I see answering on the other end. 22 now for the junior. What a great ball game we have. And that's the dual threat of CU's offense, the inside out game. Six on the shot clock. Sherrod takes it and one. That energy bursting the CU event center once again. Sherrod clears through, crossover, handles the contact, rises up and finishes, and this crowd involved. 
12 points for Jalen Sherrod, looking to make it 13 at the line. Make it 13. Crowd rises up. Fauntleroy putting the moves on Frida Foreman, and she can't go anywhere. Foreman, a brick wall, says, see ya. Didn't like the way they were running a drill, gathered in the middle, and said, if you're not going to play right, get out of the gym, let's go. And I thought, wow, we haven't heard her be that vocal. But inside that locker room, the respect that these players have earned, the respect of making it to the Sweet 16, knowing what's at stake each and every practice, each and every game. And they're playing like that here in the fourth quarter now. Sherrod with four on the shot clock. One more pass, and what a half to be selfish. Knock it in for Kendall Weta. The X Factor strikes again for Colorado, putting it on the floor, getting her teammates involved in every aspect of the ball game. She has uplifted this team when they needed it most. Four buffs in double figures. They'll put the full court press on and now back off as Fonda Roy will bring it up for the Cowgirls. What on the ball handler? And what with a steal. Stop the stat sheet. Kendall what with 15. I cannot say enough about the job that Kendall Weta has delivered for her team, and they needed every bit of it. 15 points, four rebounds. 10 point advantage for the home team. I see for three. Cuts it back to single-digit deficit. Boy, she is special. 25 points and six from three-point range. Weta underneath, passing out to Frida Foreman. She'll get it up to Smith. Working some clock for the buffs. Weta turning down the baseline drive shot again to just try to use the clock. Nice look. Buffs making it work. Jalen Sherrod to Sarah Rose Smith. Just pivot in and had the perfect cutter. Sarah Rose Smith, just five points in this game, but nine huge rebounds and two assists. And nine assists now for Jalen Sherrod in this game to add to her 13 points, get close to a double-double. Wada with the board. Really look up and down the Pac-12. It is hard to see a path for anyone to win this year. It is probably going to end up being the best conference here in women's basketball in the final year of the Pac-12. Smith trying to grab it. It does go out of bounds. Off singly heard. J.R. Payne called her a true team player. It really showed today. They have given Colorado at elevation after the huge LSU win. You know, the Buffs decided to take over here in the fourth quarter. And three to four men at the line, knocking him down. 2023-2024 season. What a start for the conference. Really impressed by Staley Hurd today, the freshman for Oklahoma State. The poise that she brings to the court at such a young age. I see passing it off and throwing up a three. Oh. Wow! 84-75. Love the job that Coach, Coach Hoyt is doing with this team. The confidence they Here zone, five of nine from three-point range to add to the six of nine for Asi. Those two combined to a couple others to make up 15 threes for the Cowgirls. State. And again, you know, you go back to offensive game plans, how you're going to win at this place, and it, that was one of the keys. you got to make threes, and they did that. Colorado, 30. Fourth quarter points. Sherrod, big free throws, knocking him down. Eight for nine today. Plus 14 in this fourth quarter. And Miller gathers it in, and with 18 seconds to go, the crowd can sense a victory. Foreman going to dribble it, finding a lane. She'll pass it out, and the clock will start to wind down. Colorado learned something about themselves today. Back up against the wall. They dug themselves a hole, and they fought their way out. But Quinn Miller ending up with a double-double in this one. 13 points and 10 rebounds after a very quiet start.
The Buffs worked through some adversity in the middle quarter.